Hello and welcome to another unboxing. Today we have the HP DeskJet 1112 printer, sold and fulfilled by Lazada. Link to the product page in the description below. This is how the package arrived, covered in cling film and bubble wrap. The box is sealed and is in great condition. Inside, we have the black and tricolored ink cartridges. The Type A male to Type B male USB cable. The power cord. The installation disk. And the user manual. It was easy taking the printer out of the box since it is lightweight. It is mostly made of plastic but this looks really nice considering the price. Now let's go try this out. The manual is easy to understand but still I'll show you how to set it up. First is to flip open the output tray. Next is to remove the blue tapes. The first one has a piece of styrofoam on it. To remove the second one, you need to flip open another panel. The tape is attached to a piece of cardboard and you may have to jiggle it a bit for it to be removed. Next is to power up the printer by plugging it to an outlet. Press the power button and it should light up. After a few seconds, the ink cartridge slots should move to the middle. Now take your cartridges and let's start with the black one. Open the pack and get the cardboard out of the way. Be very careful as this could easily be damaged especially if you touch these parts. Next is to remove the protective film by pulling the paper tab. Once removed, insert it into the right slot until you hear a click. Now do the same with the other cartridge. Now this one goes to the left slot. Now shut the panel and we are halfway done. The next step is installing the software to your computer. You could do this online by going to the link right there or you could use the installation disk which comes with the package. In this tutorial, we will be using the disk. The setup is very simple. It's just a matter of clicking next. While I was setting it up, I inserted a piece of paper in the rear tray, and the thing I noticed is that it was quite difficult to do so, as it gets tight towards the bottom. I tried inserting multiple pieces of paper at the same time, and it was easier. This could hold up to 60 sheets of paper. I also got the final piece of tape out that keeps the output tray extender in place. It will come to a point where you are asked to plug the printer into your computer. Do so and the setup should continue. Again, it is very simple and you just have to keep clicking next until you reach the end of the setup. Once you're done, you could remove the disk. So let's go ahead and try this out. First on a text document. I have set it up to the best quality and this is the result. Now let's try it on a colored image. For a quick review, this is a very affordable printer designed for home use. If you just need to print every now and then, this printer will do the job. According to its product description in Lazada, it has a monthly duty cycle of up to a thousand pages, 
and with a recommended monthly page volume of 50 to 200 pages. Of course, if you want the printer to last, you should go with the recommended page volume. So if you're looking for a printer designed for business, I have also provided links to ones I recommend in the description below. And out comes a blank piece of paper. Now that's about it. I plan to convert this soon using a DIY CIS kit that I also bought from Lazada. So stay tuned! Drop by our channel and check out our other videos. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. You can also follow us on Facebook for the latest updates. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next unboxing.